So you think you understand integers? Let's investigate how they function in assembly language. This video assumes you understand 2's complement. I'm not going to explain it, but I'll link the Wikipedia page in the description. Let's observe this instruction. JL stands for jump if less than. It jumps to the specified label if parameter 1 is less than parameter 2. Uh, the register is RDI and RSI in this case. I compare minus 2 to 5 and it gives the expected answer because we understand minus 2 to be less than 5. I'm going to change the instruction to JB. A JB stands for jump if below. Now most people would understand below to mean the same thing as less than, but when I compile and run the program again, this time we get the opposite result. Now the program says that minus 2 is not less than 5. Why? Let's look at the data. I'm going to set a breakpoint on the comparison function. Let's look at the content of the registers. Look. Our first parameter, RDI, is minus 2. Uh, but clearly, it has a larger hex value. You should already know why. And here is RSI, which is our second parameter, the 5. What we're interested in is this flags register. This special register holds bits which indicate some important information. When we perform an arithmetic operation, like the compare instruction, or addition and subtraction, various flags are set to indicate the results. By the way, the compare instruction is just an arithmetic subtraction, which discards its result. So it subtracts 5 from minus 2, and only sets flags. The four flags of interest are the zero flag, which indicates if the last operation resulted in zero, the sign flag, which indicates if the result of the last operation has the sign bit set, the carry flag, uh, which indicates an unsigned overflow, like incrementing 255, and the overflow flag, which indicates a signed overflow, like incrementing 127. The jump instruction looks at these flags to determine whether to jump or not. Going back to our case, we can see that the sign flag gets set. Here it's not set yet, but when I execute the comparison instruction, now we can see SF, which is the sign flag, which does get set. And that's how the signed version of the jump instruction, JL, knows how to jump in this case. There are signed and unsigned versions for all of the jump instructions. This is why comparing signed integers to unsigned integers is problematic, but you already knew that. Now you've witnessed it at the lowest level, and know to take the compiler or interpreter seriously when it complains about a signed to unsigned comparison. One more thing to mention is sign extensions. A sign extension looks like this. It's making sure that negative numbers make sense in a bigger region of memory by extending their sign bit to fill it. Signed and unsigned multiplication and division differ on this principle. Unlike addition and subtraction, multiplication and division uh, require twice the amount of memory to store their results, potentially. We have a separate unsigned and signed version of the multiply and division instruction called mul and imul and div and idiv respectively. The integer versions handle the sign extension of the result properly. I won't go into detail about the specifics of these instructions, but I feel I've covered enough to express most if not all of the nuance of integers. Thanks for watching, have a nice week.